Okay guys, so I'm back in another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install that amazing Twister OS web app that was released in the new version of Twister OS on your normal Raspberry Pi OS. So you might be a Raspberry Pi OS user and you just really like it, but you really love that Twister OS web app that you saw on Twister OS. Well, in this video will help you install that really easily. So here is just stock Raspberry Pi OS. I actually just flashed now, so it's totally clean. So first to set this up, we're gonna need Chromium Media Edition to do so we'll be able to use like the Netflix, Hulu applications that are in the web app. So to do that first, we're gonna need Pi Apps to install it. So open up your web browser and type in Pi Apps. And then you're gonna click on the one that says by botspot because he's the developer of this. And it should take you to this awesome GitHub page. And you're gonna scroll down and to install Pi Apps, you just copy this. Copy, open up a terminal. We can actually close this out. We don't need it. You can go right here. And all you have to do is you have to paste it in there, and it's gonna git clone the project, and then it should start installing Pi Apps for us. You hit enter right now. It says, yeah, it is required, but is not installed. Install now. Yes, I want to install it. So this will install YAD, which PyApps uses YAD as it's for the um, graphical user interface. It uses this program called YAD, which is a pretty nice program and works well. So that's why it's used. So now PyApps is trying to be installed on my system. Shouldn't take too long. And there we go, it's done. So you can either launch it from the app right here or you can go right here to accessories and it's in Pi Apps. So let's just close out of this real fast. We don't need it anymore. And I'm just gonna launch it from right here. Just double click, click execute and execute. Click on that and then it should start launching for us. So here we have, it's actually been recently updated where there's these folders. So it's easier to eat, more easy to access. Well, Chrome Media Edition is a web browser, so it's going to be an internet. Just double click on that. And right here, Chromium Widevine. We're going to be using Chromium Widevine. So it's actually not Chromium Media Edition. It's called Chromium Widevine because Chromium Media Edition was having problems with the new version of Chromium that was updated on the system. It's not a huge deal, but this one works well too. So all you have to do, you have to click on that. Click on this plus button. It's going to open up a terminal for you, and it's going to start installing Chromium Widevine on our system so we'll be able to watch DRM content such as Spotify, Netflix, Hulu, Disney+. Plus. So it's successfully installed right now. Just get out of there by yourself. You can do that. And here we are. Definitely take a look at Pi Apps if you haven't before, but that's all we're going to do with Pi Apps today. We can close out of there. And you can go right here to internet and you can see Chromium Widevine. Just launch it to make sure that it works correctly. So it does launch for us. So that's about all we're going to need to do with it. Go back and launch normal Chromium. Because I don't recommend using that version for web browsing because there are some bugs in it. So use the normal version for web browsing. But you're going to go to this link that's going to be in the description. It's going to be Phoenix Birds GitHub. Oh, looks like my internet's up for a minute. Okay, so I got that problem fixed out. My internet just went out because when my when there's people in my family using Zoom or whatever, my internet tends to slow down like that. But here we are on Phoenix Bird's GitHub. He's a developer of this. And what you're going to do, you're going to go over to repositories. So you see right here, there's a web apps and then there's a Twister web apps. Well, web apps is a version that he's working on, like to add more stuff so there can be bugs, different stuff like that. But the Twister Web Apps is the one that's in Twister OS, which he's mostly taking out the bugs. So this is the more, this is the version that's more ready for use. So I'm going to be going with that version. But if you do want to test the other one out, feel free to. But you might encounter some bugs and different stuff like that. So here we are on his GitHub page. And this will be linked in the description, of course. What you're going to do, you're going to go right here, code, download, zip. You're going to download the zip. And then you're going to close this up. And we're going to open up our file explorer. Go over here to downloads. 
and right here you're going to extract it and then you're going to copy this and you're going to go right here you're going to cut it and you're going to paste this in your home directory so i already did this so i'm just going to skip that but right here you should have this folder in your home directory so that this process can work better so we have it in our home directory we're going to launch it and you see right here we have webapps.sh if you double click on this execute you don't need to do it in the terminal just execute it a window is going to open up for us in chromium basically and here we go it looks just like it did in twister os how awesome is that well now you're like but i don't have any way to launch it there's no desktop icon well i'll show you how to fix that so we'll just close that here for now so first of all you need an icon I just went to the internet and I typed webbed icon basically. Oops, didn't mean to put those. And then you can just find one that you like. It doesn't have to be this. You can do whatever you want. Just right click on it and click download. And then I saved mine into my pictures directory. So let me just show you guys real fast. Right here, if I go over here to pictures. I have this is the one download.png is what it's called so you need to remember the name that's what I picked but now we're gonna want a desktop icon so we're gonna go right here we're gonna right click new f new file and you're, you can name it whatever I'm gonna name mine web apps dot desktop you need this ending definitely dot desktop is what you want click OK and you're gonna have this file right here launch it but you have nothing in here so I actually already prepared this text because I can never remember exactly. But you can just copy this from the description for the ease. So you're just going to copy this text right here. Paste it in here. And I'll briefly explain what it's doing. So I can actually just throw that away. But right here it says type application terminal false because we don't want it to launch in the terminal xx so it's going to the twister web apps folder and it's running the web app, web apps.sh file the name you can change it i already said to web apps and the icon this is where my icon was but if you have your icon anywhere else or if it's named something different definitely remember to change that so it will work properly so what you can do is go right here file save and as you might see the our file changed right now and we have our logo that we picked so to test it out now, I can just double click on it and you don't need to execute it in terminal, just execute it. And here we go. Now we have a desktop launcher for our web apps. How awesome is that? We have our games, multimedia, social media, utilities. So first of all, I wanna make sure that our multimedia works because we had to install Chromium Widevine. So let's test out Spotify and let's see if it did work so it launches in a new folder right here and let let's just log in and see how it goes so I don't have speakers right now to test it but as you see the song is playing you can see from here with no problem so Netflix Disney plus all those other things will work Oh, wait, actually, Disney Plus isn't here. That would be a cool addition for him to add. Maybe I can write him and ask him to do that because that would be pretty cool. So the, if you don't, but if you did not have this Chromium Widevine installed, it would not work. So keep that in mind. You definitely need that installed. And then everything else is basically how I reviewed it in my other video. We can test one game for the heck of it, and then let's test out a game called Fall Bros. So it looks kind of like a knockoff fall guys <laughs> but i don't know let's see we'll test this out and then we'll s yeah so it looks like it's loading so it's cool that you can actually get this on raspberry pi os if if you're a user like me and you don't use twister os as a daily because i kind of like my own desktop and to be able to customize it and stuff it's just one of my preferences but So it looks like it's not really launching. Interesting. But we could try. Hmm. Let's 
let's just go into a Among Us and see if that even works. Hopefully it will. Let's start. Okay, so it, it, it's not the web app still work. It was just that one little problem right there. There must be a bug with that game. I don't know. But yeah, you see the games part do work. Multimedia works once you install Chromium Widevine. I mean, it's all awesome. Oops, but... Yeah, so this thing is really awesome. It's cool to have on Raspberry Pi OS. You know how much I loved it. I did a I did a review on it on Twister OS. If you haven't watched that video, please watch it too. I'll link it in the description so you can know what this is. But yeah, it works really well. Good job, Phoenix Bird. And I hope you can guys can get this set up on your Raspberry Pi OS successfully. And if you can't, just let me know down below in the comments, and I'll try to help you guys figure out what the problem is. So please hit that like button in this video. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe.